What's up guys, today's unboxing is the GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini. I currently have the Hero 11 and it's great and all, but I wanted to try the small one. It's exactly the same specs and everything. You get that cinematic mode, that that 7 to 8 crop ratio of the square, almost like a full size square. You can move it around wherever you need to to reframe, whether it's portrait mode or landscape mode. That's what, you know, the Hero 11 can do. But um besides the 5.7k that I can record. I want to try this little new one that I got. Um, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of it. So let's just open it up. And since I tested this all around the Hero 11 on like uh, back of like BMW cars and mounting it and doing races and drag, and you know, drag races to uh, drifting. This, this works great. This mount is, is amazing because it's very strong. And it just holds onto a car because the magnets are very strong. And I recently got this uh, Telecine magnetic clip as well. So take a look at that video if you haven't already seen it. And just to open it up, here is the Black Hero uh, Mini version. It's a smaller version of it. And I'm going to just do the quick unboxing of it so you guys can see it. Uh, let's just open it from the bottom right here. Drop it out. It came with the packaging as well. It's uh, it's a lot lighter than this as predecessor. It comes with the Enduro battery as well, and you can. Um, it just the, the only thing that it doesn't have is just a screen, but it has dual uh, mounting fingers. That's the, you know the clips that are on your GoPro. So, of course, you have to update it before you use it. And out of the box, here is what it looks like. You get the Hero 11, which is a little thicker, but it's square. You know, it's you know that's the reason why I wanted to get it. Um, it's smaller footprint, and let me see. Let's take off the little screen protector and the back ports. Uh, let's see, where's this? What does this go to? All right, so um, it's very simple. It's it's different. It's got the little heat sink on it. It's completely metal in the back of it. So it's more rugged, I guess I'm assuming. Um, the plastic clips are kind of nice. I think they're like very, oh, it's got a little magnet to it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So these little things that they call fingers, GoPro fingers, or whatever it's called, the little flips, it attaches to different like GoPro mounts. But um, if you look closely, there's like a little magnet right there that hits the metal right here. So if, it, if these do break, you can replace it very easily because there's like screws on all around it. So if those clips break, just replace it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, the back of it as well, the fingers. And of course there's magnets on there as well. So you have two ways of mounting it. Uh, the only thing, uh, the difference between like this versus the Hero 11 is that you don't got the screen. So once you turn it on, like there's there's two buttons on here. There's this thing and then there's this, this is the record button. So if I like, I believe, I don't think there's a battery, you know, so, oh, it's different too, the, the compartment, the battery compartment, so you have to, you suck this and then it lifts open, so it's a lot easier than this, this is like the wire tail set, you have to kind of pull to lift open, um, it's powered by USB-C and it has the micro USB, uh, micro SD card slot on the side of it, and this part right here, I believe this one doesn't come, oh, it does come off, so you can also take this flap off if you have like a, some accessory to record sound the let's see well the biggest difference is that the battery is built into the camera so if you're utilizing this gopro hero 11 the battery is built in so you don't even have to like unplug it take the battery out to charge it you just kind of you have to plug it in via USB-C. so the only way to charge this device is by plugging it in so that means if you're you were and that's why the heat sinks on the back. So if you're plugging it in into a power bank to keep this running and recording at the same time, the it gets hot. So it'll heat up the battery that's inside. So it'll hopefully like having this metal heat sink on the back keeps it cooler faster. And that's the biggest portion of it, biggest part of it. Um, of course, if you turn it on, let's see, I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. This is 11 mini on the top, the little O's. And of course, it's, let me see, it's English check by using this gopro i agree to the 
terms and conditions. Okay, it's literally just like reading it like a scroll wheel. Um, okay, available at GoPro.com. Okay, got it. Uh, it says insert SD card. So I need to insert SD card, probably updated through the app. So um, besides that, let me let me get let's get started on it. Let me take out the micro SD card on this one because I don't really have uh, the micro SD card available yet. I just ordered one from Black Friday. Um, this is a Samsung 256. I just ordered another 256 as well. So I'm gonna put this one in here. And so I slot it in. And then I have to go through the app to update it, of course. And let's go to the Quick app. Q U I K. Go Pro Quick. All right. All right. Add to. Let me see. Go Pro. Add. Maybe later. Let's see. Add another Go Pro. Boom. Searching for camera. All right. So <clears throat> it is. Adding this camera here on connect. Let me connect real quick. Once it's connecting, pair it is pairing up. It's connecting via the app itself. And once it does that, it's probably have to do an update, a quick update. So um, hero, I'll name it Hero 11, Hero Mini. Boom. All right, cool. Let's install the update. Right, I'm gonna let it update for a little bit. And let's just go over the quick accessories that's inside the box itself. This box is a little bit smaller, so of course, just to fit it in, it comes with the hero mount, the, the clip that, you know, once you put it on there, it doesn't come off. Um, it doesn't, you can't, you know, clip it off because of this rubber in the middle. It comes with the curved, little, little curved adapter for like helmets and stuff. And of course, a little screw, mini screw, very cute. And that's basically it. I don't really need this box. Um, I'm gonna, I like to just throw these little accessories in there. And of course you don't really need this as well. It's just a little information to tell you to update it before you use it. And of course some instruction manual and some stickers that came with. Uh, so you need to update it right away. Oh, charge it as well. And the only way to charge it is by USB-C. It came with the one USB-C cable as well. So here we go. And, uh, of course, there's a big old instruction manual, so you can, you know, look through it. And that's basically it to the case. So you always keep some of these in there, throw these in there, in the box, and put it away. But right now, let's just plug it in to charge while it's being updated. Let me pop this open. I like that the, the clip, the pop open, is really easy and simple. So. All right. So as, as it's updating, you know, Let's take a look at this little feature right here. Look at that. S slide it in pretty easily. And it's very nice. And you can also mount it through this clip as well. Just like that. Okay, cool. Alright. And of course, look at this. These are, these are nice adapters. Very nice screw. And of course, this works well with my Telescene adapter as well. So with a smaller screw, um, it's lower profile, less, it's not, you know, those protrude super long, far out. Oops. All right. And as this is the update right now, I'm gonna give it a little quick minute to install it real, real quick. Okay, <clears throat> as it's waiting to install, let's go over the, this little clip that I'm gonna utilize mostly as this one is great for the Hero 11. So this is the Enduro battery. It's white. It lasts a lot longer, um, pretty much. There were some specs. It has, you can add a max mod if you wanted to, to this. Uh, it's always max lens mod ready. So meaning it's probably built into it. So wherever you turn, it's already has that max mod. So you can utilize it as a GB2 processor one button simplicity so whatever you set up through the app that's what it'll start with if when you, once you turn it on it has a 1080p live streaming so that's that's amazing you can literally have it constantly live stream it's time warp 3.0 has eight times slow-mo and dual mounting fingers and voice control where you can tell it to turn off by announcing the name 
of the in say in turn off as a waterproof of 33 feet or 10 meters and it's 5.3k 60p uh, or you can shoot at 4k 120 and or 2.7k at 240 and it's it takes a photo of 24.7 megapixel video frame grab so so you can that's kind of cool pretty much that's basically it to it and everything else is through the app you can also like download the footage to your phone and then edit it off of whatever app you like to use so um it's almost finished updating but once it gets updated let me show you some quick clips from it oh it's done all right now it is connecting now here is the hero 11 right here connecting to the hero 11 mini uh, right now it's shooting at, oh it tells you at the top, it's shooting at video 4K 60 wide. So, um, and if, I'll do this later. So if I say I want to control your GoPro, you have to utilize the app. Let me take this charger off so it's not charging. And as this can see, let me see, connecting it. it takes a little bit of time right now. You can see the video footage off of it. Right now it's on me. Um, you can go, you can set it up to whatever kind of, I mean, standard. I want it to be standard to be uh, 5.3K, um, 60 frames per second, that's great. And super view, ooh, linear with horizon leveling. Oh, that's kind of cool. But linear will crop in a little bit but it's got some horizon leveling, so lock it. So whatever angle you put it at, it'll be, that's the angle. Um, that's kind of cool. Uh, Hyper smooth is on. Uh, let's see, 10 bit, ooh. Yes, definitely 10 bit on. Protunes, bit rate. Let's do bit rate high. And shutter at auto, okay. So exposure compensation, ISO minimum, everything else is auto. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, so 5.3K resolution, 60 frames per second, linear at horizon leveling. It's pretty high for performance. It's pretty nice now. Now, whenever I shoot it, oh man, it's got a good leveling feature. Let's see. No need to. Kind of cool. This is cool action. It's nice. I don't know what that is, but. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, light painting, vehicle lights. Everything is controlled through the app, so whatever way you want to utilize it. Let me shoot. I'm going to usually shoot at just 4K, 60. And let's do it hyper view. Because I don't think you can do super at 5.3. I don't think it comes with hyper view. It's a super view. And then I believe super view is like one, almost the widest you can make it. So. It's pretty wide. You can get the whole entire table if you're at super view. But um, I believe let me see that right here, here, and change it to 4K hyper view. What's hyper view? It's even more crazy. Wow, hyper view is like almost like a POV first person. So if you're mounting this onto your onto this like onto your strap like that, you. If you utilize Hyperview, it is crazy insane. Look at that mount, mounted GoPro. It's kind of cute, but um, doing it in a Hyperview, you get almost like you can see everything, almost like 180. It's pretty wide. So Hyperview is the widest you can get, and then Superview is pretty good. I will keep it at uh, Superview at you know 5.3K. So or 5.3K 8.7 ratio, so you can crop it and move it to where you need it to be at. And, but it's only at 8.7, it's only a wide view, so you don't get the, you can, you get like a good size frame, but um, not super wide, but it's like, you get the whole picture so you can crop it where you need it to be at. And that's basically it. So, um, if you have any questions really regarding this Hero 11 versus this, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. And that's it to this video. This is a quick unboxing of the Hero 11 Mini uh, that I just got. I'm going to play around and test it. See you guys.